Whenever artists attempt to capture their view of the world on paper, a familiar tool is nearly always to hand. The Faber-Castell sketching pencil. Over 120 years ago, Vincent van Gogh praised Faber pencils. They're soft and a better quality than carpenter's pencils, he wrote to a former fellow student. They give a splendid black and are very agreeable for large studies. The material the leads are made from is found deep underground. It's graphite, a mineral discovered in the 16th century that consists of a crystalline carbon, like diamond, only very much softer. The early pencil makers thought it was a lead ore. The chemists later put them right, but the name lead pencil survives to this day. Since the 19th century, the leads have been made from a mixture of graphite and clay. The soft graphite is what makes the marks on the paper. The hard clay provides strength and substance. Different proportions of the two produce the various grades of hardness for different applications. Water is added to the mixture and the paste is then kneaded for an hour and a half. The leads for colour pencils are made largely from colour pigments plus kaolin and a binding agent. The clay graphite paste is extruded through a nozzle under very high pressure, roughly 10 tons per square centimeter. The leads are still soft and flexible at this stage. So first they're dried for three and a half hours in an electric oven at 120 degrees Celsius. A couple of paces further on, the leads for the colour pencils are extruded. They also go through the drying oven. To make the leads hard enough for use, the clay has to be fired for 45 minutes at about a thousand degrees Celsius. Colour leads are spared this treatment. The high temperature would destroy the pigments. The wax bath gives the leads a silky surface. Now they're ready for writing and drawing. The abrasion test shows how fast the leads will wear down in use. The difference between the grades is very obvious. There are 16 grades altogether, from 8B to 6H. B stands for black, with a higher proportion of graphite. H means hard. These leads contain more clay, which makes them harder and paler. All the materials are monitored constantly to exclude any harmful substances. A 
A good quality lead of average hardness, HB, will stand a weight of over two kilos without breaking. Cedar wood forms the basis of Faber-Castell's quality artist's pencils. These slats are supplied ready, cut to size. First of all, grooves have to be planed in the slats. A special glue keeps the leads firmly in place in their wooden casing. One by one, a metal wheel places the leads in their grooves. A second grooved slat is placed on top of the first. The result is commonly known as a sandwich. The sandwiches are dried in a hot air drum for about an hour. A planing machine now cuts them into pencils, round or hexagonal or triangular, depending on the type. One sandwich produces up to ten pencils. Then the pencils are given a protective coating. Faber-Castell uses water-based paint. That's kinder to the environment. Each pencil gets several coats of paint for a perfect finish. And in this machine, the pencils acquire their identity. The lettering also indicates the grade of hardness. Colour pencils are stamped with the appropriate designation. The end of the pencil has to be painted separately, dipping this process is called. An endless loop of sandpaper sharpens the pencils much faster than any hand-operated sharpener could. But no machine could compete here. A trained eye checks the quality. Not even the slightest irregularity escapes the checker's notice. Packed in boxes, Faber-Castell pencils are sent all over the world. Over 1,800 million of them a year. That makes Faber-Castell the largest manufacturer of wood-cased pencils in the world and also the oldest. The company has been making pencils since 1761, running through eight generations of the founder's family. Pencils by Faber-Castell. Quality products that make the world go round. Scientific studies have shown that the use of drawing implements as a child is an essential part of the development of the human intellect. 
it helps to provide a basis for the ability to reason logically. And so, even in this computer age, the pencil will remain the most important creative tool in human hands. A universal, environment-friendly and affordable tool for notes, drafts and corrections in art, at school and at work, worldwide. Pencils by Faber-Castell. Quality creative tools for future generations too.